the good. The bad. The ugly. Welcome to the Good, Bad, and Ugly Film Review. Today we are taking a look at the Miami Hurricanes versus the North Carolina Tar Heels. Tyler Van Dyke puts up 500 yards, but that's still not enough to get it done. So let's see what happened. Let's check it out. Let's start off with the good. The good. All right, before we get started, just want to let everybody know that all of these videos have been demonetized because of the footage that we use. So if you care to, and it'd be greatly appreciated, go ahead and donate to Cash App or PayPal. You can see right there in the description, you see it scrolling right there at the bottom on the ticker and all the other information is in the description as well. Let's go ahead and get this thing rocking and rolling. Beautiful formation right here by Josh Gaddis. He's been under fire a lot by his offense, but I have to say this right here, this is grade eight uses unbalanced formation right here to confuse the defense. I always say formation and motion is detrimental to a defense. Right here, you see the unbalanced look, the four wide receivers, the running back is on this side, unbalanced, no eligible receivers on this side, right? So they kind of over adjust to it, perfect. But what they don't know or what they do know is that they put this linebacker in conflict with the speedy guy out the backfield. Also, because he's covered up, he can't go down the field, so you're going to see he's going to sell this bubble route real hard to kind of get these guys' attention away from what's going on here. And you're going to watch Tyler Van Dyke use his eyes to carry everybody this way to make sure that he gets the one-on-one -on -one with this linebacker. This right here is brilliant, guys. Second and nine. Let's check it out. Took his eyes. Look at this. Selling the bubble route. Keeps his feet flat. Everybody's looking this way. But he know he has him one-on-one, -on -one, but he can't match Rooster's foot speed. TVD throws a TV dime round here, drops it right in the bread basket. Beautiful play call, man. Excellent. All right, here we are. Third and six. 7.45 left in the second quarter. Great play. And this is why this is big right here, right? And this is something that Tyler Van Dyke has been kind of struggling with, throwing guys open. But look at the pre-snap read. You get to see his two high safeties. He's going to read these safeties. Both of them are going to open their hips 45 degrees. That's telling you right now it's cover two. Middle of the field is open. Here's the best part about it. They're in a two-man. Everybody here is locked up underneath, and they got two over the top. So what does that mean? That means that he has to beat this guy one-on-one. -on -one. It's third and six. He throws a perfect ball. Ball is already out, and he's beating this guy, and he throws it perfectly in the man, and Mallory makes a great catch for it. The route was a little long for third and six, but it worked. I love it, man. Great play. Here we go. Motion changes things up. Why is this motion important? This is super important. Let me go back and show you why this motion is important. This motion is important because it's going to ensure that this guy stays low. He's going to come across. See, as he comes across, he walks down. That should be telling Mallory right now, one high safety is either man or or cover three in essence, right? Middle of the field safety, and these guys are going to be in man. But he has vacated this area, and that's right where he's going to go with his RPO. Excellent job right here. Shows the fake, but look at his eyes. His eyes are stuck right on this guy to make sure he doesn't fall back, and he's going to respect the run. They did this early in Texas A&M, throws a slant right behind his head. Boom, for the touchdown. Great play call. Here's where we got to be a little bit careful here for the Hurricanes. Uh-oh, Campbell is way down the field on this deal blocking, right? He doesn't know it's a pass. It's RPO. He's blocking it like it's run. So, refs give us a little leeway, but we got to be careful with that because they can't call you for an illegal man downfield. All right? They let it go. We take it. Five in for the touchdown. K5 for six. Here's another good play by the defense, man. Let me tell you something. Here we go. They come off. Great job playing this. And it starts off with this guy right here, right? And he sets the beautiful mousetrap. Gets good pressure, beats him with the swipe, and he takes it tight. Look at him running the hoop. Forces him up right into the mousetrap. You're going to see 45 come right over the top. Boom, set him up for the uh, on the stunt. Great job. Really a spy stunt. Sack right there on second and six. Going to make it uh, third and long. Fourth and two. 
45 to four, well, sorry, 46 seconds left in the half. We got a score. Watch this. Great play call, y'all. I have to tell y'all, this is an excellent play call. Coach jacking it up right quick. Only thing about this play call is going to take some time. When you get into mesh concepts, it takes time for guys to get from this side to this side and this side to this side. So fourth and two, long developing play, but if it's open, it's open, and the guy's protected, okay? Let's, let's look at the protection right quick before we play the play. They're showing right now four and a possible five. We can pick this up with our five offensive linemen. No big deal. But you're going to see what it's going to hurt us later down the line. Okay? Mallory on the mesh. Great job right here. Watch these guys get in the way. He's going to actually chip 27 on this quote-unquote rub route. Beautiful. He's going to get in his way. He's following him, man. Right? 27 has Mallory, but he's got to fight through all of this traffic in order to cover him. Great job. Now, I have to say, TVD kind of threw it behind him, right? So people want to talk about things. This is why I say it's a group effort when it comes to wins and losses. It's not one person. Look at this ball behind him. Very catchable ball. But look at this ball behind him. He takes it, turns it up, makes a great play right there. But the best part about this play is the traffic that these guys create. Look at the formation. Tight trips. Look at this. Picking guys off, fighting through the traffic. Excellent play call. Excellent ex execution right here, man. Fourth and two. First and goal now. We're on second and goal. 34 seconds left in the half. We got to be able to score. All right. More rub routes. Great play call right here. Let me go back and show you before you get, to, get too happy. Look at Skinner. Look at Skinner with the quote-unquote rub route. He's going to run an angle route right behind him, Henry Parrish. This is his guy. Going to get here and come right through here. Even if he doesn't get pressured, this is still wide open. Look, this is open. Let's just say he sits in the pocket. This is still an open ball right here. But here's where players make player moves. Look at Mallory. Under pressure, steps up. And I love the fact he stepped up and not out, tried to get outside the pocket. Steps up. Keeps his eyes down the field. Right? Fights that guy off and makes a great throw right here, man. Great throw. Great catch by him and Henry Parrish, bro. For the touchdown right before the half. Takes that thing 14-21 right before the deal. Here's another good play to get out the second uh, quarter here to go into halftime. Second and, uh, I'm sorry, first and 10. Interception right before the half. Okay? Let's look at it. You got my man Keontre Smith playing in a trail technique, all right? And it's kind of a cover two deal, right? That's really what it is. Or cover three actually with like a, what they call uh, uh, on me, meaning I have this guy man because you're going to see Takori Couch play him off. He's going to play vertical with it, and you're going to have the two safeties over the top. I, I'm not really sure if they're playing this like quarters or, or what. It, it's a little confusing. It's hard to see when you don't get to all 22. But I have to tell you this, Keontre Smith made an excellent play in here. Cutting this guy underneath, he had to throw a perfect ball. If he threw it short, Country Smith picks it off. If he put some height on it, uh, right here, uh, Williams and Williams, the Williams brothers back here, can make a play on it. Great job right before the half. Great play. All right, third quarter. Start of the third quarter, another good play by the defense. Getting them situated. Meeting them at the quarterback. Both defensive ends do an excellent job with their hands and their passing rush lane. Look at this. Not getting up the field. Pinning it down. Defense is on fire right now. Go ahead, Jafari Harvey. He is playing lights out. Second and 14. This is where May starts to struggle a little bit in this game. Showing blitz heavy. Put him behind the sticks. Drop off. Here we go again. Great play right here by Cam Kitchen. I'm going to give him his love first before I talk about really why this play was really made. Cam Kitchen did this all in high school. Middle of the field safety, and he makes a play on the deep ball. He has done it numerous times. I wish he could have stayed on his feet to return it, but I get it. Hey, it's a great pick. But here's why this play is really good. Watch Jackson, number six. He's going to dog walk this guard. Look at this right here. He tries to step up in here, and he puts him right in his lap. Look. 
right there. Now he's not comfortable. He can't really step into this ball. That's big right there. I tell people all the time, you don't have to make the, the tackle to make the play. You actually cause this ball not to get extended because he's really beat. Throws it just a hair short. 24 comes in. Cam Kitchens with the pick, man. Turn this thing around, man. Awesome job. First and 10. 328 left in the third. All right. Look at the formation, right? They got tight formations. You're going to anticipate some kind of crossing routes up in this deal. We'll see. Now, a lot of people are going to take this as a sack, and I think they credit it as a sack. But believe it or not, this was actually a draw. Okay? This was a draw. Let's look at the blocking scheme of this deal. He's going to fake like he's throwing it this way. Stop. Look at the offensive lineman coming downfield to block. You're going to see the running back come through here to block. But they do a good job here with the stunt. Look at my man Jackson on the stunt. Boom. Comes here. You see uh, uh, Taylor comes inside, kills 52. He runs right by him. Jackson comes around late, kills him right there. Give him the sack, baby. Even though it was a run, give him the sack. I'm loving it. Six, go eat, baby. Formations again, guys. Formations. But I believe Tyler Van Dyke made a, a, a an error in this deal. He sends him repairs in motion. Look in here. It's fourth and two. You only got to get two yards. We got to keep this thing going. Starting off in the fourth quarter, and we down by seven. He's going to read this side. I Me mean, personally, I believe that's the wrong side. They're outnumbered. It's two guys here, and they're showing three in coverage. They're going to end up with four, but they're showing three. That means you already outnumbered a man. Here, once you send Henry Parrish, we're even. Somebody can beat somebody, okay? See how he initially looks this way? Soon as he sees this, he should automatically be looking back this way, right? Because he knows the route combinations, and you only need two yards. Now, it's beautiful to say if these guys were blocking. Get it, but they're not. But watch this. You're going to see another route right here, okay? If he had time to stay in the pocket, which I know he's pressured. I get it. But if he had time to stay in the pocket, you throw this ball right here. He would have been open, and you get it. I understand, okay? But he doesn't. He gets pressured, gets pushed out. Don't want to throw this because he'll knock his head off for a loss. But he gets pushed out the pocket. This is why I wish he would have stepped up, right? But he steps out. Okay, go for it. But watch Tyler Van Dimes, baby. Tyler Van Dimes to Redding on the sideline with the tiptoe, man. Come on, keep the drive alive, baby. I'm loving it. Coach Crystal Ball, fist pumping. Everybody happy. I'm loving it. Let's get it. Third and 12. Third and 12. Great pocket, right? They get a hand on it, but look at the pocket, man. Create a great pocket here. Everybody's got somebody just a little bit. He gets it in there. I put this as good because it was just a great play by Brashad Smith, Tyler Van Dyke, throwing dimes out here on the Saturday afternoon, man. You got to love it. Formation again, guys. Look at the formation. Empty set. So everybody's eligible now. Empty set. Not unbalanced, but empty. Here we go. First and 10. You're going to bring in the Juco transfer, baby. Huh? Kobe Young in the building. Let's take the one-on-one -on, -one on Tony Grimes. Great ball. When Tyler Van Dyke throws the deep ball and puts air under it, it's unstoppable. Let the receiver go get it for you. You don't have to be perfect. Put it up there. Watch this. One, two, and let it ride. 88. Ooh, almost slipped and fell, but I got the touchdown, coach. <laughs> I'm loving it, man. Third and five, two minutes left in the fourth quarter. We down by three. We got to make a stop. The Canes have to make a stop. Let's see if they do it. Great job, Corey Flag. Doesn't fall for the okey dope. Comes in, bounces off. Great open field tackle. Stops him there, third and five. They forced to do something with the ball, punt, whatever it is. I'm trying to tell you, it's something special, man. Corey Flagg did a great job right there. And that's the good, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's time for the bad. The bad. All right, here we go. Here go the bad, man. We're going to start this deal off middle of the, uh, the first quarter here. Third and five. This is super important. It's third and five, right? Got a spread offense here looking good. Here's the problem. 
Look at the amount of pressure they're getting ready to bring. Okay? And this was actually a great call by North Carolina because if you look at this play, this is going to end up being a quarterback draw, and they actually run it perfectly. And I have to tell you this. Tony Grimes sells this as a corner perfectly. It has no too high safety, so you can't tell that somebody's going to be over the top of this. There's really no pre-snap indicators that uh, there's going to be a corner blitz, man. So they actually called a perfect play against a perfect call. Look at this. You know, you got a guy here, but no real indicator. Here's your corner blitz. He's going to be over the top, and you see, look, he's fighting to get over the top. Nobody's here on these guys, but I'm telling you, man, the perfect call. Right? John Campbell slaps him out the club, but he turns his back so fast he doesn't see this guy coming in, and Tyler Van got Dyke gets stuck. And this is why I know this is a draw. Right? Look at the guys coming up field already ready to block. They're already ready to block up field. They're just running these guys off. Okay, but Tony Grimes from North Carolina comes in and makes an outstanding play when it comes there. That's just bad. Those type of plays happen. Fourth and two. Killed me right here. Get him off the field. We can get him off the field. It's only 7 nothing. Right? Quarterback draw. They run their own version of the quarterback draw. But they do a good job. Why? Right here, guys, we're running up the field as if it's third and 16. We're flying up the field. We end up being on top of each other. Nobody's collapsing this gap, constricting this gap. Now he's got a freeloader guy coming here. He's in man, so he's not paying any attention because we're playing man across the board, right? Couch is in man. Everybody's locked up. So, again, this is a great call by them. He's locked up here, and he's going out this way. I guess that's where he's like he's going to throw the ball on flag, comes back in and makes a huge run right there. All right. Cam comes in, but I thought when I saw this live, I thought Tyreek Stevens was going to get the fumble hit because he didn't see him coming. <clears throat> a little soft though to me though, but I feel you. <laughs> All right. 10 and 13, man. 10, 10 minutes, 13 seconds in, seconds in the second quarter. First and 10. Here we go. Let's talk about bad. Bad. We lose contain again. Watch the defense end to the top. Set. Why are we going inside? You got you got a, a, a Taylor right here. You set the edge outside. Now he has to step up right in the Taylor's lap. But because I'm a GDI coach, god dang individual, right? I do what? I let him out. I put the stress on everybody else. And now this guy is free to go. Here's also where it's bad. Okay. I see Corey Flack. He sees this drag route. He's trying to insulate it and get underneath it, right? And I understand because drags are hard to cover. But he lets this guy go if this happened to be his guy. And once he did that, because he allowed him to get outside the pocket, there we go. Luckily, he almost stayed in. Cam Kitchens was smart enough to stay on the play and knock him out of bounds. Amazing. Little things create big plays. First and 10, another formation here, right? I don't know what our defensive line is doing, guys. I, I, I like this is we pushing the sled. Nobody's making a move. Nobody using hand movements. There's no stunt. Look at this. We just pushing the sled, just pushing the sled, pushing the sled, pushing the sled, pushing the sled. It's terrible. Now, because there's no pass rush, he's sitting back here comfortable, throws a dart right here. Also, why this is bad, I want to say this. People want to talk about Tyreek Stevenson on this play. This is cover three. I looked at this play a lot. This is cover three. You're going to see James come down here, play curl to flat. Couch is playing curl to flat. Hook to curl, hook to curl. Kim, uh, uh, Kitchens has middle third. He has outside third, and Tyreek has uh, outside third. Cam Kitchens is nowhere to be found. Look, this is Cam right here. There's no threat in here. Why are you so flat foot? You see the guys pushing it. Deep post kills us every time. I mean, at least Tyreek Stevenson stopped him on the two, but he ended up punching that deal in, bro. All right, here we go. I'm jacking it up right now because I'm getting upset. All right, TVD, protection, fourth and two. I talked about mesh concepts, and they take a long time to develop. 
So if you don't have the proper blocking, it's hard to get these plays. They're showing right now one, two, three, four, five, and a possible six. We only got five offensive linemen. If you put him in the route, he has to be responsible. Quarterback responsible for the sixth man. But he doesn't see where he's coming from. Look at it. These guys are covered. One, two, one, two, and let's just say one of them stays. One, two, okay? Slide the protection this way because if you're going to look this way, protect your backside. If you're going to look this way, protect your backside, okay? All right, let's check it out. There's the extra guy. TVD is looking this way. If you know that's your pre-snap read to take this side of the field, you got to maybe protect yourself this way and take care of the extra man, okay? He doesn't do it. TOD, turnover on downs. We got everybody else sewn up, right? But we leave the unblocked man, and it's hard to beat an unblocked man, especially if you're not looking at him. Look how long it takes for, for him to get free. Look how long it takes for them to get free. For me personally, we got away with it the first time with Mallory on fourth and two. These plays are too long developing for fourth and two. It's fourth and two. We need quick hitters. Hit them now. Hit them now. All right. End up turnover on downs. So with all that being said, that's the bad. Now it's time to get to the ugly. Ooh. The ugly. All right, y'all. Here go the ugly. Oh, my gosh. All right, third and three. Third and three. Zero score. Let's get off the field, guys. Nope. Miscommunication here. What do we have? We all talked about it. All right. It's supposed to be in a cover two here. Where he sits here, Cam's supposed to get over the top. You can tell by the way he played it. Okay. Cam Kitchens is flat again. Make the right read, and we off to the races. Now, I have to say this about something in cover two that I'm, I'm seeing that I don't like. If you know that, and, and this is why I think it was a big, bigger disconnect than just between those two. If you know you have a flat defender out here in cover two in Tyreek Stevenson, then why is James Williams chasing this? James should stay here, and I don't know who this guy is, should have been more in the middle of the field. I'm just talking about I think there was a disconnect to this side of the play call. You see Couch right here talking. Right, You can get split coverages. You can run something over here and cover two over here. But I think there's a disconnect in here somewhere in this entire side of the ball because he's playing curl to flat. Watch him. He's going to go right past him to get to the flat. And you'll see this linebacker take over the curl. Well, you don't need him here if Tyreek Stevens is going to be here. So there was a total disconnect in this entire play. So, yeah, we can call Cam Kitchen on this one, but there's a lack of communication when it comes to this deal. And there you go, off to the races. Get off the screen with that foolishness, man. All right, here we go. Second and goal. Unreal. Right? The reason I put this is ugly. Guys, we load this up. We play it perfectly. But we don't get to the ball. Watch Jackson. Uh, right? Two people hit him in the hole. He finds a way to get off of this. But then watch Jackson. Standing around, baby. Don't stand around. Get in there. Once you realize it's too late, why are we spinning on the goal line, Jackson? Come on. Just God awful, bro. It's two of y'all in there, man. I mean, y'all laid a thump on him. I thought he was done for. Man, he like, nah, coach. I'm going across this line. Get what you talking about, brother. They end up calling him down, but they end up calling a touchdown in the game. Here we go, another ugly, second and 10. Right? Guess we can call it a little holding right here if we like, but they don't call it. I get it. Got on his legs. This is why this is ugly. Again, miscommunication. James Williams has this guy man apparently, right? But watch what's big, this motion. I tell you, motion and formation are detrimental to defenses. To Corey Couch is late coming over. I don't know what the communication is. Does James think, watch him hesitate a little bit. See him kind of stick out there? Does he think he has this guy? Is he here? He sees Couch at the last second. Then he tries to come back late. If he's on this guy, he, I guarantee he makes the tackle. See how his movements are? 
He's in man right now against Josh Downs, one of the top receivers here in the country. But there's no communication. Nobody's talking. Nobody's saying, me, 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 me. I got him, whatever the call is. So he hesitates like, "Uh uh-oh. And I believe that's where they wanted to go with the ball. He really wanted to go up here with 88, and James saw it late. And now this dude just throw up a whole Hail Mary full of grace. And then look at this. We don't come back and make any tackles, man. That's just God awful, bro. Come on, Canes. Y'all deserve better than that. All right. The Canes deserve better than that. Third and two. Who help me, Lord. This is the play everybody's talking about. Tyler Van Dyke should have pulled this ball. Every zone read is not. I mean, every zone play is not a zone read. This is actually a play right here, right? This is a gap scheme play. You're going to see Mallory come through here and this guy just beats around him and gets to the ball. Watch. Now, part of this is due to where he's probably lined up. He's too wide. Should have been more behind the tackle. Okay. Go to fake. He doesn't buy it. Mallory's angle is not too bad, but he was probably too far when he started. This was a good play call by them. Bad design. Yes. Could Tyler Van Dyke have pulled this ball? But that wasn't in the call. And I'm going to tell you why. So for everybody out here, he should have pulled the ball. If 85 blocks him outside like he should have, he would have knocked him right into Tyler Van Dyke. That's a tough call. So TVD actually did the right thing, believe that or not. You can say what you want to say, and I'm just as guilty in the game. I'm like, dang, Tyler pulled the ball. But as you look at the film, it goes to show you, 85 is too far. He's got to get in here. And if he could slip through this and beat this tackle, he might have gotten a couple of yards, but a great push by the offensive line, man. And we end up being in fourth and long situation. Fourth and one, guys. We're down by seven again. Inside the, they call it the green zone, right? The go zone, not necessarily red zone. <laughs> and this was a momentum buster. Rooster has it. Boom, he has the first. The first is not the issue, right? All he has to do is get to the 25. Clearly, he's to the 25, but he fumbles the rock. I'm not sure if he scores or not, but he definitely gets down to the 15, 10, somewhere in there. And look at him squirming for the ball. I feel you, fool. You got to protect the rock, fool. He knows how bad that is. Look at him. He knows how detrimental that is right there. That was a momentum buster. 12 minutes left in the game, down by seven. We would have scored, tied it up, plenty of time to go. We had all the momentum, and we lost it right there on that play. Second and 10, 35 seconds left. I'm going to let this kind of run out. You're going to see Tyler Van Dyke get in trouble. We're in an empty set. This is knowing situational football. Situational football. We have no timeouts. 35 seconds on the clock. Right? In trouble. Scramble drill. Somebody scramble drill. What does scramble drill mean? When the quarterback's in trouble, he's in trouble. You can't just stand here. You can't just work here. You got to go turn and find open space. Get these guys confused. Because if you turn and get open space, he can now either run this deal and get more yards and step out of bounds. But now that you're standing here, You're bringing him to the party. Now watch another guy come to the party. Okay? That's where the problem is. If you were to turn and run, he could have gotten some positive yards and stepped out right through here. Okay? Or he would have saw you turn right through here and hit you right through there. Once you get the first down in college, the clock stops. Not a big deal. But because your momentum stopped inbounds, which it did, the clock continues to run. That hurt us. Tyler Van Dyke now is going to get blamed for this. I don't even know if they called a play. They just lined up, right? I don't know if you can spike it. It's third down. I mean, it's third and four. You spike it here. I get it. You're trying to make a play. But this is where situational defense kills teams. They line up. They run the play. Again, third and four. Why the route so long? Right? This is the only route at the sticks. Everybody else is five yards beyond the sticks. Everybody else is five yards beyond the sticks. Situational football. Know where the sticks are. Throw it. Drill it right now. Hitch to the stick. That's his favorite throw anyway. To the outside. Throwing it to the number one guy. 
Drill that ball right there. It's right here. But instead, he gets caught up. The guy's sitting underneath. People talk about the tip ball. Even if he didn't tip this ball, it could have got picked off right here. Ended up getting picked off back there. But this guy was open at the sticks, right beyond the sticks the whole time. And that ends the ball game for the Hurricanes, 27 to 24. That goes to show you guys, football is not just given to you because you think you deserve it. You got to go out there and execute as well. To Josh Gaddis, he called some great plays. I think Red Zone still uh, has some things left to be desired. But we got to be able to execute when it's our time to make plays. Also, we have to understand situational football when it comes to the Canes. All right? That's just what it is. But as always, like I'm going to tell you, in Mario We Trust, hashtag in Mario We Trust, and that's exactly what Coach A is going to do. Because I do believe that we are a great team and we can be a great team. We got to understand building things doesn't happen in a day. It ain't like building a Walmart. Just put up four walls and put some food in there and call it a shopping center. It takes time to make this stuff happen. So guys, believe. Don't bash the players. Please, you can criticize, but you don't have to bash them. Nobody out there is terrible. All right? I'm not going to go on no rant. But with all that being said, I just want to say, man, as always, it's Go Canes. I appreciate you guys so much. Like I said, if you like what we do, YouTube demonetizes this entire video. So if you'd like to go ahead and donate to Cash App or PayPal, the information is in the description uh, as well. And with all that being said, Coach Hazel, catch it at the 50-yard line. Peace.